Hey guys and welcome back. It's been a little while since I've done a Morrigan Alta video and there are reasons, many reasons. We were expecting a inspection so we boxed everything away and it never happened and I'm sick of waiting. So <laughs> I decided I want I want my Morrigan Alta out again and it's quite changed because it's now a large one here, a small one down there. We're going to talk all about it. But before we do that, there was another reason. I decided to use the time where I'd packed everything away anyway to see about connecting without any props, without any tools. Uh, basically a candle and some incense and seeing how connected I felt. And, or, you know, experiment, see how that felt for me. Now, I missed my altar. I missed having a very physical representation of the goddess. And I did not take down my, my Morrigan wheel, which is fuzzily. Come on, camera. Thank you. You see it moving? Never stops. Right. Um... I missed that so, so much. It, oh, I did take it down and I missed it so, so much I put it straight back up again. Because it gave me a little focal place just to say my daily words or just give me something to look at, something to focus on. So I left that up, but the altars I took down and just to see how I felt working without having a very physical representation because it came up a couple of weeks ago and I thought, you know what, I'll give it, I'll give it a go, see how it feels. It was interesting. Um, I don't think I felt any more or less connected. It didn't make me feel less connected. I, I like having a sort of physical go-to place. I like having a, a space permanently here because she's permanently here. And I work well with sort of visual cues. It didn't make me feel any less connected not having it. I still had my conversations. I still did my spell work. I still carried on, but uh, yeah. But it just goes to show that you do not have to have anything. And anything you do have is just, you know, grateful for what we do have. So this is the upstairs <laughs> and it has the absolutely gorgeous scarf from Tesco <laughs> with the ravens and the red and the black and it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it as a altar cloth. I would never buy another one. But I love it that much. So let's Let's start in this corner and go around. A lot of this again now has things from people. So there are gifts woven in. So over here we have the little cauldron of bits <laughs> and there is the raven on a, I think it's oak, I'm not sure. It was a piece of bark I found and I pyro, pyroed, I've forgotten what you call it. <laughs> I burnt a raven on myself. And this cake slice of amethyst. Nom, nom. And then there's a shelf from Stephanie. The bone goddess charm from Trina. And a smoky quartz point. And a little little feather there from Hazel. And in there is mahogany obsidian. And this is just... It's like a focal cauldron. It's just... Lots of little goodies that sort of symbolise that. Now the hawk for is a hawk feather that Hazel sent. And she sent the bowl as well. And then in there are lots of feathers. The feather with white on Charlie sent. And it sort of looks a little bit like a crow. And a big moonstone and an obsidian and then a shell, which I collected myself. The spell bottle which I made, I forgot when, the statue from Belladonna, which was the first Morrigan thing I ever had, 
The candles are from Fragrant Temple online. The most beautiful, gorgeous plaque from Shannon. Look at that. And then hanging up are my prayer beads. I need to move the spell orb and the uh, other spell orb from Sterling on there. So there's another spell bottle which I made the larger one. Onyx egg in a cauldron with a little broom, symbolic of the witchcraft side, the witch side, the magic side of the Morrigan Crow Feather. Mahogany obsidian arrowhead from the beautiful Desert Siren. This bottle is from Trina. She sent it with incense in it and I used that. And now I like the bottle so much that it has my Dark Goddess Herbal Blessing Salt in. I use that myself. We'll go down there in a minute, camera. Beep. And then I have my Jet Skull and Crystal Quartz Crystal. Oh gosh, Quartz Crystal cluster there. The beautiful pair of raven wings that Sharon sent. Uh, the rose quartz skull, and then this is a red knight, and you can see the skull, not the skull, the battlefield with Cantane within, it was always very Morrigan. The snowflake obsidian that Hazel sent. The orthoceris, which I've had forever, <laughs> bless it. And the imbuing amethyst, the imbuing citrine, amanonite. Amethyst, Amethyst from Bobby, Amethyst from Bobby, and then we have two obsidian points, obelisks, in between the beautiful Morrigan bowl which Hazel sent, surrounded by glittery skulls. For a little, I, I like the glittery skulls because it's her death aspect, but it's still glittery and sparkly. And <laughs> so that's up here, and then down here because I used to have, oh gosh, ow, 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 <laughs> I used to have obviously everything on here and then in front, so it actually worked out as less space being up there, um, which is interesting. So down here I decided to have the triple aspect by itself, We're wiggling, 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 in here. <laughs> and I have a, a cauldron of amethyst, surrounded by amethyst, because the cauldron is symbolic of the goddess and amethyst is my spirit stone. So it's basically a focal point of connecting with divine energy. At the front we have a new surrounded with all sorts of goodies that I connect to new, And then Bave is back there surrounded by all sorts of goodies that I connect to her. And Mako is there. And then we have the beautiful stone that Charlie sent. Uh, black obsidian twist and at the front we have the one of the spark candles I make, a little offering bowl, a big dark fake citrine <laughs> spell jar that I make and then the bow wand I made for the Morrigan and down there is the, it's a photo album that Jude sent but I love it so much that I have it out and it's just a bit like I'm considering putting like little Morrigan treasures in it and and keeping it out. So I'll just talk a little bit about the things that surround these spell cauldrons, all the spell cauldrons I make as well obviously. So I have a little arrowhead, a little crystal arrowhead for each. I forgot to mention there are obsidian spearheads on the other um, altar. But there are, you probably saw them. <laughs> There's a raven skull charm, a key charm, a garnet, there's a garnet on each, there's a Picasso Jasper on each, there's a shark tooth on each. For a new there's Aventurine um, Pyramid. There's an obsidian for each, there's a citrine for each, a citrine is higher thing around there, and a shell for each. And so each goddess has their own version of these. And then I guess just because is the working sort of corner. The beautiful Desert Siren, I bought the fan from her. And this is a beautiful, I haven't shown it before, uh, wand. I don't know, wand cover that Charlie made and it's absolutely beautiful. 
and then just all the bits and pieces working. Oh, and from Bella, the candle. I keep it there because I've been working with it separately to the altar, which has only just gone back up. The other altar is the same as it was. Oh, I suppose we can go flick over it. Only I've added an extra crystal to each element corner. I felt like doing that this morning, so that's the other one. But yeah, there you go. Obsidian arrowheads, spearheads, whatever. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you. It's an updated Morrigan altar. Do, 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 do. I felt like doing something fun and silly and personal, you know. I create these altars with all my creative energy and love. And I enjoy doing them. And I think that's what I missed when I didn't have it out because my sort of, my my altars are just sort of like a rep, physical representation of my relationship with Morrigan in this case or the divine and it, all my creative energy goes in so I enjoy having those, them out so I found out that I can do without them <laughs> so you can you know you can you can do without them or you can build them up over time until they become more elaborate but uh, I thought it might be fun just to share. So I'm going to zoom in over there because look at that. Look at how beautiful. Many blessings.